So, the MCU multiverse is a mess. Make a U-turn, if possible. Look out for Legion! Michael! Are you okay? Swim for it! In this video, I would like to untangle it a bit for you guys. There will be some spoilers for the latest movies and TV shows if you haven't seen them, but not Hawkeye. Because fuck Hawkeye. I don't have enough time to watch that show. Let's start with some of the basics and also give you some brief context comparing to the actual world we live in. We'll start small and go bigger and bigger and bigger. But I said to my college girlfriend. First up, dimensions. These are the basic way to define space time. Perpendicular lines that get more and more complicated as you increase the number. Our and MCU space time is four dimensional. Three dimensions for space, up, down, left, right, forward, back, and one dimension for time past future in mcu we also have a mirror dimension that dr strange uses to trap enemies well most of them also we have the dark dimension with dormammu and all the dark beings different dimensions don't need three more dimensions similar to how we can have infinite number of 2d sheets going from 2d to 3d and still be different from the first 2D sheet. Quantum Realm Quantum is the smallest blocks of a dimension you can have and realm made out of the smallest blocks a very teeny tiny realm is what Quantum Realm is all about. The rules of physics are very different in Quantum Realm. Particles can be at two places at once. Future sometimes determines the past. All the crazy stuff. The most crazy part about quantum realm is you can breathe in space smaller than the protons of the oxygen molecule in MCU. What? Come again. What? Well, they explained it by making it like a pocket dimension with the ability to traverse on the time dimension. So if you go small, you can basically go wherever you want on the time dimension of the real world. And also breathe. We will learn more about it in Ant-Man 3 Quantumania, I'm pretty sure, hopefully. Pocket Realities These are the dimensions that any powerful being in MCU can create. They can change the rules according to them. Think of it like developers using Unity or Unreal Engine to create a world that they like, but in real world, instead of a PC. Not my potato PC, a powerful PC. The only caveat is that it's mostly magic based in MCU, like Asgard, Wanda's Vestu hacks, Talo in Shang-Chi, or this cat's belly. I'm not kidding. It is actually a pocket reality. <laughs> Planes of Existence. These are like a whole separate 4D space time with its own rules. Like the Soul Plane in Infinity War or the Duat from Moon Knight. These are not pocket realities. And well, I would say the norm does not apply here. Ships sail through sand. Egyptian gods live here. These are not dimensions or pocket dimensions because you don't actually exist here or go here physically by normal methods. Well, not if you consider dying and then going here normal. Because Underworld is also a plane of existence. Hopefully your brain doesn't hurt till now because we still have more crazy stuff ahead. Just breathe. Breathe. Just breathe. Take some time and digest. Dimensions. Our normal world. Quantum realm. Small stuff and traveling through time. Pocket realities. Playground for magic users. Planes of existence. Basically hell or heaven. Wait. Isn't Asgard actually basically heaven in MCU? Shit. Moving on, universe. Everything we learned till now exists in the universe. Universe is all encompassing. Universe is all encompassing. Universe is all encompassing. It consists of everything. The planes of existence, even with their own set of rules, exists in the universe. The MC universe is dubbed number 616 by the Illuminati in Doctor Strange 2. The Eternals, the Guardians of the Galaxy, the Celestial, and all the Celestial Babies exist in the universe. <laughs> Timeline If we compress the whole universe into one dimension, 
which represents the flow of time as the universe evolves from the past into the future. It would be called a timeline. Timeline is bigger than the universe because it is like a video if the universe was a frame switching from one frame to the next frame. We saw what the sacred timeline looks like in Loki. It's a circle in MCU. Multiverse. Finally, we are at multiverse. Multiverse is what happens when you can't keep track of your continuity of your universe. Boom. Roasted. But to be honest, that's exactly what happened. But before we get into that, there are two types of multiverses. Number one, outside observable universe. This kind of multiverse expects you to believe that the universe goes on after what we can observe. This is the most probable kind of universe. At the edge of the observable universe, the space expands at such a rate that matter goes off away from us faster than the speed of light. So there is no way to have a contact anything after the edge of our observable universe. Think of it like islands separated by ocean and the waves are too crazy for any ship to sail across. This kind of multiverse would still have only one timeline. Number two, outside the universe altogether. This kind of multiverse could still exist even with the previous kind of multiverse. Think of it like a sheet of paper stacked on top of another sheet of paper. Physicists call them brains. You ever heard something called the in-brain theory, detectives? The only difference is that this kind of multiverse would have different timelines for each universe. The universes in Doctor Strange 2 are different brains or different sheets and America Chavez is the only one who has the power to open portals between them that we know of so far. And last but not the least, TVA, the Time Variance Authority and the Citadel at the end of time. This is kind of a neutral ground which is outside in time and space of any universe or multiverse. It is not clearly stated that each universe has different TVA, but if the job is pruning the deviation from the sacred timeline, which prevents chaos in the multiverse, then they have to be singular. That however doesn't explain what happens at the end of Loki where the TVA changes based on universes branching out. Maybe we will learn more about it in season 2, hopefully. Phew, that was it. Did that clear everything up or are you still confused? Ask me your questions in the comments below. I'll try to answer them as much as possible or let me know if I made any mistake in the whole video. I might have made a lot of mistakes. But like the video if you learned something or anything. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Second Act out.